Hello and welcome to the Sibsey West Midlands Region vlog and podcast. My name is Joss Brownlee and I'm the chair for the Sibsey West Midlands Region Committee. In previous episodes, we briefly introduced the REBA plan of work, which outlines the eight work stages for briefing, designing, constructing and operation of building projects and explains the stage outcomes, core tasks and information exchanges required at each stage. Stage three, spatial coordination and getting the model right. After developing the concept in stage two, we enter into stage three design, spatial coordination and getting the theoretical model right. Hopefully we firmed up the concept and received constructive feedback from all design team members prior to heading into the next stage. Having a robust concept, as previously mentioned, is so important so that we step off into stage three with confidence. We all know that the design process can be fluid but with fluidity comes uncertainty. Uncertainty can introduce abortive time, delays and additional unforeseen costs to the project. What are the main items you consider at stage three? At stage three, we're now starting to drill into the main core components for the M&E services. Most of the main routes and risers should have been identified in stage two. Now we're starting to bring all the information together as a coordinated team effort. Major clash detection is dealt with at this stage, along with the following key items. Thermal modeling, confirmation of plant and riser spatial requirements, maximum demands for m and building services systems, horizontal distribution zones and spatial requirements, provisional builders works and openings, designers risk assessment. One of the key terms we use during the whole design process is LOD, level of development or level of detail. This can be best described as what detail you'll be showing and how intelligent, how much information the model will be or will have at a certain stage. Whilst visually you can see on screen some changes with the M&E equipment, the intelligence should also change within the model. Not every project is delivered in a 3D environment. However, the LOD approach should remain the same, utilizing other methods. Many of us have an understanding of BIM or BIM building information modeling and the process, but some projects are not delivered in that form. BIM sets out an objective, a process and a path for delivering a project with the maximum amount of coordination and information possible. With that in mind, shouldn't every project be delivered in the spirit of BIM? How can we approach projects? Coordinated services, a centralised process for all engineering services to reduce potential clashes. Measurable targets, the ability to measure performance targets through intelligent information. Collaborative team effort, creating a collaborative team experience supports project success. Smooth building process, reducing clashes and risks at the design stage supports smooth project delivery. If the project is a design and build procurement route or following a procurement route, this is typically when the project gets handed over to the main contractor or builder to complete the design process. The next stage is technical design, and we will look at why delivering a strong stage three package plays a critical role in the project program, cost model and construction phase. This series has kindly been supported by ADR consulting engineers, who uses who and uses content authored and produced by them, which is also available via their blog on the website. ADR are based in Canterbury, but have projects across the country, including within the West Midlands region. ADR are a group of like minded building services engineers that have established themselves through academic or practical backgrounds. All of their engineers are professionally accredited and have proven track record in delivering award winning projects. They love what they do and that shows through their work. We thank Lex and the team at ADR for their help, support and input to the series. Thank you.